What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you that's a little bit more cheaty than it usually is. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can put a crosshair over literally any game using literally any PNG file which is a transparent image so you can make literally whatever crosshair you want, animate it or not, and it'll work. Now before we get into this, A, it's usually not detectable, there's a couple of games that do detect it, however all of them that I've seen detecting it, including Escape from Tarkov, don't actually ban you for using it, the most that they'll do is kicking you. Why won't they ban you? Well, because if they banned you for using a piece of software, you'll go back to how you used to do it, where you put something sticky in the center of your screen and use that as a makeshift crosshair. In a lot of games nowadays, there's no crosshair, you're just hip firing in the general direction and having a little dot in the center of your screen will help you a lot in gameplay. So with all of the questionable reasons you'd want to use this aside, let's just say that you do want to do this. Now, how exactly do we get about doing this? Well, there's a program that I like to use that's been around since I think 2006, and it works really well for what it is. It's really customizable and easy to use. However, some games are detecting it, which is why I'll have another video coming up probably tomorrow that'll be linked down in the description below and in the comment section as well for games like Escape from Tarkov, etc, etc, that know what this application is. So heading across to the link in the description down below, custom desktop logo.wiki.com takes us to this page over here. And as you can see, the last release was in October 20th, 2008, meaning the software is about 12 years old or just over 11 years old. That being said, if it's been undetected and well known for this amount of time, there's probably no chance that people are going to start banning or blocking this, though some games might kick you and not allow you to play until the program is completely closed. So either way, at the very far left, we'll find the download button right under the welcome and we'll download the latest version. I doubt there'll be one newer than this. Custom desktop logo 2.2 October 20th, 2008. I really doubt there'll be an update to this. Anyways, it'll download a zip, simply click on it to open it up and we'll have a file inside of it. From here, I'll extract it to my desktop, close the zip and open up the folder. So now we have system AMS profile DLL, custom desktop logo and license. Opening up the desktop logo, hitting run, you'll see a new icon in your start bar and probably a logo that pops up. Either way, find the little icon in your start bar that looks sort of like a lemon and right click, go to settings and you'll see this window over here pop up. So we can select images to use as a quote unquote logo, which we'll be using our makeshift crosshair in. So let's simply just click change image folder. Now it'll automatically have its custom desktop logo folder selected, system images. All we need to do here is pick a folder with a crosshair inside of it. Now, of course we don't have one, so there's a couple of them that you can download. I've linked one in the description down below. However, they're super easy to make. In fact, I'll show you right now. So minimizing this for now, I'll go ahead and open up Affinity Photo, which is basically Photoshop. You can use GIMP or anything like that that has a transparent background support. Make a new file. I'll just leave it at 200 by 200. I'll grab myself a square and I'll simply just draw myself a crosshair. So right in the center, I'll make a square and I'll copy it Let's make it nice and red. And we have a super basic crosshair. Just make sure that it's centered once you have all of them placed. And if it's centered for sure, let's go ahead and save it as a PNG file. So I'll navigate into the custom desktop logo folder, system, images, and I'll make a new folder just called Crosshair. Open that up as well, and we'll save it in here. Doesn't matter what you call it, because we'll be selecting it just now. Finding the icon on your start bar, right click settings, we'll go into change image folder, and we'll look for our new Crosshair folder, OK. And as you can see, the image in the bottom right is now our crosshair. So obviously it's not exactly the best crosshair in the world. I'll link a couple below that are a little bit better. All we need to do is head across to a location. We'll leave it at Z level topmost, which means it stays above every program. And we'll leave multi-monitor as is. Display location, we'll set it to center. And as you can see, it's mostly working. As to why there's two, I have actually no idea. So I set the multi-monitor to primary only. And now we seem to be left with one. As you can see, it's mostly in the center. This is a centered image over here. In fact, it might even be lower than centered. But either way, I'm pretty sure the bottom right hand corner of the actual PNG itself is where it picks the crosshair to be. So heading into the size, you can change the scale of the actual icon. You make it as small as you want or as big as you want. And under location, at the very bottom, we have location offset. Now, instead of starting up a game, I'll simply just open up a paint file and say that right over here is the center of the screen. So I'll simply just draw a big fat circle to indicate that this is sort of where the crosshair would be. Obviously, you'd start up the game of your choice. 
I'll leave it a bit off center so you can see how to move it. And from here, you'll simply just hit the down or up arrow on the Y and X axis to move it left and right. So there is probably centered. You can go ahead and adjust the size of it if you want, and you can move it around as such. Now, in a lot of games, when you're clicking around, you may tab out and click onto this actual crosshair program itself. How exactly do we stop that? Well, heading across to the drop folder tab over here, you can see drop folder mode response to input and disable movement. All we need to do is uncheck drop folder mode so we won't be able to grab onto it and move it, but we'll be able to click through it and onto programs behind it. Once you've done that, you've basically got your crosshair complete. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are, of course, other crosshairs that you can use. Linked over here is a Linus Tech Tips forum post back in 2014, where he's linked a download to multiple crosshairs. Heading across to it, we'll go ahead and download it, open it up, open up the folder inside of it, system, images, and I'll simply extract all of the crosshair files from here into our custom desktop 2.2 system images here. So once I've dropped them all across, you can open them up to get some sort of a preview of what they look like. Crosshair 2 three, four, five, six. They're all tiny, but as you noticed, six is a troll face, red and blue. When you pick crosshair six, it'll flash very violently on your screen. If you're sensitive to flashing lights, I highly recommend that you go ahead and delete crosshair six if you do download this pack so you don't have it flashing on your screen. Other than that, the rest of the crosshairs seem to be mostly fine. The ones with multiple images are in fact animations. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. So if we go to change image folder, we can select crosshair two, for example, and you'll see a tiny little flashing dot in the center. In fact, they may be a bit too small to see in the video. Crosshair three puts a nice big circle. Crosshair four, a smaller dot. Crosshair five, crosshair seven, is a tiny little spinning icon. Making it a little bigger, you can see exactly what's going on. I've got it set to scale two. So heading back to select images, I'll pick crosshair eight. You can see this one's got a little animation to help you focus on the center of the screen. Crosshair nine, crosshair 10, 11, and of course crosshair one. But as you can see, it flashes to the image that we created. If you wanna remove that, you won't be able to remove it from this animation list up here. You'll actually have to go into the folder and delete the picture itself. So assuming that you like the way that one of these animated ones looks, you can head into the images folder, and then just go ahead and delete that one icon. Then hit the refresh image list button and it should no longer be flashing between them. Of course, if you wanna stop the animation entirely, you'll just need to delete every file except for one, refresh, and it will stop being animated. Note that as soon as you hit the X, the program completely closes and you'll need to start it again. From there, it'll start into your start bar. You'll need to right click settings if you wanna come back here and just minimizing it will get it off of your start bar and back into this little tray icon in the bottom right. Anyways, this will go over basically any game and no matter what you're doing, it'll always stay there even if you minimize everything. So it's extremely useful for games that you'd like to have a dot in the center of your screen and it's a lot better than putting something sticky in the direct center of your screen and being left with a mark once you're done. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helps you and tomorrow I'll have another video coming out on an alternative program that's similar to this, however undetected by whatever anti-cheats detect this current one. Again, I haven't been banned for using this in any game, including Counter-Strike, etc, etc. I know you can customize your own crosshair there, but I do prefer making my own one entirely, putting on animations and stuff. I don't use it so much nowadays as I used to, but it was cool to have when I had it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.